Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to solve an interesting equation that involves a special function called the Lambert W function. Don't worry if you've never used it before. I'll explain each step clearly. Let's get started. Step 1. Understanding the problem. We are given a raised to the power a equals 100. We need to find the value of a. Step 2. Taking the natural logarithm. The first step is to take the natural logarithm on both sides. That gives us natural log of a raised to the power. a equals natural log of 100. Step 3. Applying the logarithm power rule. We know that the natural log of x raised to the power y is equal to y times the natural log of x. So the left hand side becomes a multiplied by the natural log of a equals natural log of 100. We also know that e raised to the power of the natural log of x is equal to x. So we can rewrite a as e raised to the power of the natural log of a. That makes the equation e raised to the power of the natural log of a multiplied by the natural log of a equals natural log of 100. Step 5. Introducing the Lambert W function. Now, the Lambert W function is the inverse function of x times e raised to the power x. If we take the Lambert W function of both sides, we get Lambert W of e raised to the power of the natural log of a multiplied by the natural log of a equals Lambert W of the natural log of 100. From the property of the Lambert W function, we know that Lambert W of e raised to the power x times x equals x. That means the left-hand side simplifies to natural log of a equals Lambert W of the natural log of 100. Step 6. Solving for a to find a. We take e raised to the power of both sides. a equals e raised to the power of Lambert W of the natural log of 100. If we calculate this, we get approximately 3.597.